hey, welcome back to another episode of Chicken Police. Um, yeah, so last uh, time we left off at uh, Natasha's place, Natasha's weekend house, where we found um, Deborah's dead body and uh, where I was being really stupid and I have to admit it was a bit hurtful to my detective ego because I'm running around and saying, Oh my god, I would be the best detective ever. And well, I might not be. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's let's find out a bit and we uh, will rummage through town this time uh, to get some more, some more information and, uh, well, let's see how much I will not get this time. Should we say hi to the old beaver? Sure. Mullen is an old, old friend, so he certainly deserves a hello, and we do need information. Few people know as much about Clawville as the old woodchomper, an encyclopedia in the flesh. Yeah, he always has something. Mullen's Mullen. car. Ancient, but kind of beautiful, like the old beaver himself. Oh, that's cute. The taxi company for the upper class only. Politicians and gangsters. Do you feel as lucky as this fella? Piggy piggy diggy lottery. <laughs> That's cute. Murdoch and Falcon is a famous law firm in Clawville, run by a blind bat and a bird brained falcon. Okay. Some Lots. things are indestructible, right? Oh. Yeah. Mullen's kiosk's been here since I was a little chick. <laughs> My old man used to drive here from the other side of town for his daily papers. Yeah, many still do. He certainly is something. Mullen's a wizard from a forgotten age. Cute. Yeah, kind of. Okay. The Chandler's. Chandler's used to be quite a prestigious cafe. Magnificent animals had breakfast here. And in the evenings... Philosophers and writers would get drunk together and argue. <laughs> the place is now just a second-hand bookshop. Just a shadow of its former self. Like so many things in this city. Like me. Oh. Okay, so let's make sure we did not forget. Oh, we can pick something up. Okay. That's silent nice. A chicken police story. Meredith, Meredith H. Marble. Did we, like, take it with us? No. Oh. The Clawville Chronicle. The most read and probably the most biased <laughs> newspaper in the city. Maybe the only it's one. It's supposed <laughs> to be a royalist rag. But the separatist overtones are getting stronger and stronger every day. Okay. So let's talk to Mullen. We're getting older and older. And Mullen's not changing a bit. Where's the justice in that? <laughs> He's just eternal. Like an ancient god or something. Or the personification mm -hmm. of the city. What a lovely thought. But if the city took shape, it would most likely be some kind of vermin. Yeah, true. But that wasn't uh, very uh, politically correct coming from you, pal. Hey, you know I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yeah, I know, Marty. You're too good for this world. Aww. Oh, thanks, boss. It wasn't a compliment, oh. Marty. <laughs> oh, okay, let's, let's hey, talk to Hercule. him. Hey, What's up, old friend? Hello, me lads. It's oh. good to see you. What are you doing around here where you never see a cat, go boy? <laughs> we're working, Uncle Mullen, just like you. But I'm afraid we're also walking a little bit outside the law. Mm -hmm. Well, it's New Year's Eve. Couldn't it wait a bit? Whatever the case is, it can't be that serious. I'm afraid it is. Maybe you can help us with a few things. After all, you know everyone in the city. <laughs> what a compliment. But of course I'll help if I can. I know you ever since you appeared in the city. Young, fresh, full of ambition. Once and upon a time. Marty had been just a chick when he was already coming here every day with his daddy, hey? You're like me sons, so yeah. Oh, thanks, Uncle Mullen. <laughs> I wonder if we 
Got some. Nope. Oh, okay. Ask. Okay. Even the Start. ruthless gangster, that's for sure. But he's not bloodthirsty or stupid. You're not in danger until you're in his way. And that's not so easy to manage as the whole city's in his hands. How come hmm. they never tried to approach you, Uncle? Why didn't you? <laughs> of course they tried. They wanted to buy the whole area and build some huge parking garage on it. Mongrel Mick, Ibn's number one thug, came here and threatened me more than once. If I hadn't dug me heels in, the others would have sold up. The lawyers behind me, even Biff, the owner of Chandler's. But I told them, over my cold, dead carcass. Well, looks like it worked. <laughs> I'm too much for them, lads. Or I'm just too famous around here to get rid of. <laughs> we could say Ibn's almost almighty, but he avoids scandal like rats avoid fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I'm a poor nobody, my lads, but my name still carries meaning. Mm -hmm. This place has always belonged to my family. If my dead body had been found here or in the times, it would have caused a scandal, even without any evidence. So, he usually listens to reason. Mm -hmm. uh, when I talked to him tonight, he seemed confused, dissolute, and impetuous to me. That's uncharacteristic. Are you sure it was him? <laughs> Are you joking? Ibn Wessler's not usually confused with anyone else. Of course I'm joking. Beaver humor, you know? <laughs> Nobody gets it. Not even the beavers. <laughs> Good one again. What? <laughs> well, yeah, he's like some kind of like, uh, really, uh, nice grandpa. Like that. I, I like him. Hey, Martin, my lad, what's up? How's that beautiful wife of yours? Mara's perfectly fine, thank mm -hmm. you. It's crazy you could grab an amazing woman like her, son. <laughs> Are you blackmailing her or something? <laughs> what? The? Ah, I missed your famous beaver humor. <laughs> oh, I'm boy. just messing with your son. Anyway, you look good. You're in good shape. You look more like a turkey <laughs> than a rooster, if you ask me. Is that a compliment? Um, thanks. This is priceless. Thanks, Hercule. We'll be back again soon. Yeah, sure will. <laughs> oh, boy. Nice girl. She used to come here for a while, but I, I think she moved downtown. Yeah, she's the poster girl for workaholism. <laughs> she lives in an apartment across from the PD, but sleeps at the station if she sleeps at all. Poor Monica. Some animals just race and race through the years of their life until someone stops them, makes them wind down. Is there someone like that waiting for everyone? <laughs> Indeed, there is somewhere. <laughs> Usually oh, not where we're looking son. for them. Yeah. Right. I wonder why we could ask about Monica. Hmm? She is suspicious. How's Desiree? What about her? She's still beautiful <laughs> and she's still my wife. And I still don't get why she hasn't met me already. Oh, this beaver you like are. You, you stubborn old damn builder. You see, you're right about that, sonny boy. And uh, <laughs> the cubs? Cubs? <laughs> More like jumbo cubs. John sees a hotshot lawyer in Galadia, and Timmy also left Clavis to try his luck in Grassmore. Timmy. But who could blame them? Good move. Ah, yeah, but they visit hey. me often, though. They're good kids. Oh. I know, pal. They're from a good litter. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, Sonny. Oh, that's cute how familiar they are. Do you are. know anything about a woman named Natasha Katsenko? Sonny it's boy, interesting. What have you gotten yourself uh, into again? Everybody says that. <laughs> that is Ibn Wessler's protege, to put it politely. She's the crown jewel of the city. A shining new star. If you dare talk to a gal such as her, you can expect some serious lead poisoning, me boy. Well, I suppose I should have come to you first for advice. <laughs> Doesn't matter now. We're in it, Uncle. Off to our combs. If you'll accept the advice of an old shaggy beaver, get to the end of it as quickly as you can, and try to make it out with all your feathers. Yeah, yeah. that's the plan. But do you know anything about her? Anything, uh, interesting? As mm. I called, Natasha is quite a mysterious... Nobody person. knows something. She came from the Stavonian stardom and fled to Clawville. But from what? No one knows. Mm. Some years of her life are shrouded in mystery. And that really means good. You're right about that. So, uh, 
That's your advice? Be careful. At least, sonny boy. And one more thing. What's that? Never fall in love with a woman like her. Thanks, Hercule. I wasn't planning to. No, you Nobody never planned to. to <laughs> Take care of it. Okay? And always carry a good gun in your pocket. <laughs> Marty's oh, like, oh yes. <laughs> have one in every pocket, old timer. Yep. I know, Martin. I know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just speak to him. What's up, old man? Is everything all right? Uh, me bones are creaking. The eyesight's getting more and more blurry. Oh no. And sometimes I hear sounds that aren't even there. I think I'm getting old. Or maybe I've gone crazy already. But the old ticker's still ticking. So, here I am. Yeah. Ah, it's good to still have an old familiar spot in the city. Ah, nothing lasts forever, boys. So, what is this dirt you've ended up in again, eh? Ah, uh, just a mm -hmm. simple case. Simple case. Personal nothing strings. special. That's why I couldn't refuse it. You know the tune. Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old song, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's a classic. Okay, I think we got everything around here. Let's look at the new information we got. Natasha. Where's she? Ah, oh, yeah. We know where Natasha... Uh, we know where Natasha came to from. To Clover from, but there are several years in her life that are completely dark to us. Not even the all knowing Mullen could tell us more about her. Oh. Marty's fiance is Laura, a beautiful, warm hearted predator. Predator? What kind of animal is she? I don't know what she sees in Marty, but he is too, uh, too damn lucky to have such a woman for him. Okay. Hmm. Monica. Monica is such a workaholic that she even moved into the block opposite the PD. But despite the move, she sti still sleeps at the station very often. Oh. So, it just seemed a little bit off that we could ask about her because we didn't suspect her in any way. But, well, maybe she'll come in handy for some more information. Even sturdy little paws reach every dark corner in the city. Even good old Mullen was, uh, uh, was approached by his men several times. Okay, that's the last one. Ah, oh, Mullen himself. Okay. Uh, beaver, old and full of secrets like the city itself. Mullen is an old comrade from before the times of the chicken police, so from terribly long ago. I used to call him Uncle Mullen when I was just a fresh patrolman, patrolman even though he's only a couple of years older than me. He represents many things I wanted to become. Honest, wise, and cheerful. Old Mullen's kids flew out uh, of the nest long time ago, but he's eternal and unstoppable, just like some kind of ancient ancient rock in the cities. Uh, the city is built upon. Of. Okay, some new codex thingy. Grassmore is a savannah, savannah country that has been one of the colonies of Clover for two centuries before gaining its freedom in 792. Grass, Grassmore is mostly inhabited by peaceful herbivore animals of exotic species. I wonder if that's uh, where Mullen is from. Okay, let's just, uh, yeah. Head over to the next temporary available spot. I don't know, we can like always visit Global PD and the Hot Dog, so we just Phyllis and Roy's are nowhere to uh, be seen. do that the great wild one. in between well, the... Let's hope this is a good omen. Um, maybe finally the pink cushions have started to do something with themselves. The more important and maybe places. It's not a coincidence yeah. since we've just found a dead body, Marty. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? The night's starting to get off, huh? Just like the good old days. Uh, let's just hope there won't be any more surprises tonight. Okay. You don't believe that, do you, boss? Sometimes I think the badge means nothing anymore. Well, only you can decide that, boss. I mean, the motto, the lion, the crown. They've lost their significance in the eyes of the people. Not while we're around, Sonny. How many of these did we wreck in ten years? Sonny? Oh, boy. Nine. And <laughs> I have no idea. I stopped counting after year two. 
How much oh. does it cost the city to keep us on the force? Oh, oh boy. Stop thinking about it. It'll make your head hurt. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's go straight in. So Barkman? Oh blah blah. Uh, let's talk to Monica first. Oh boy. Yes. Talk to her first, then ask. Hey, Mon, is the boss uh, angry today? <laughs> angry? That's an understatement. I oh boy. New Year's madness has started. Everyone busy? As normal, boys. The city's gone crazy, and we already have our first dead body. They found a girl in Flowerville. A nasty case. What do we mm. know about it? Funny. You know I can't tell you. Mm, oh, come on, Mom. Maybe. I only have 120 days left. And we could pretend these are my last beautiful days. Let's pretend. On my feathers, Bonnie. Stop that. It's so not your style. Ah, uh, he's been like this all day. <laughs> Shut up, Marty. Come on, Mon. Mon. Right. Though I don't know much. The girl was found inside a house. I won't tell mm -hmm. you the address. I have a hunch you already know. Why do you think that? Never mind. Anyway, she was naked, but there wasn't any sign of a struggle. There was a message written on the wall and on her back, too. That's all? That's all. Thanks, mm -hmm. Mon. You're not gonna ask what the message was? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> what was it? You already know, don't you? Not. <laughs> I'm an open book to you, Mon. One I've read too many times. Oh boy. Okay, let's ask her. Lucius will for blood boil. I see the boss is ready to explode today. Oh boy. What did you expect? The madness kicked in and he's gotta be at the PD. Deputy Malloy's blind drunk. Uh, what's the name of the old man's wife again? Uh, poor lady. Marsha. She was waiting here for a while too, hoping it'll only take a few minutes. But as soon as they saw the state Malloy was in, she got into a taxi and went home. So that's why the old hound's so angry. Please, boys, don't make him more so, all right? Unfortunately, I can't promise that, doll. As usual. Oh, she's so cute. Look what we found, Mon. Does this mean anything to you? It's beautiful. Embossed, gilded. Mm -hmm. These are rare. But I've never seen anything like this one before. Where's it from? I'm afraid that's a secret. At least for <laughs> me. You haven't taken vital evidence from a crime scene, I hope. Oh, what are you thinking? On my feathers. You're gonna be in trouble, boys. <laughs> Only if we don't wrap it up, Mon. I got a feeling we should, like, stop talking because... <laughs> Listen, mm. Marina, that girl they found in Flowerville. You've seen her, right? Yep. Yes, we were first on the scene. Boys, you know I should report you immediately, don't you? We know, Mon. We're only mm, asking but she for does. a little more but she, time. She's not going to we're do that. On the trail. If you learn anything, would you uh, please tell us? Are you crazy? <laughs> hey, yeah. keep it down. Blood boils right behind us. Please, Mon. It's a matter of life. Okay, but only because I can see how much it means to you. Oh, Thanks, she's so sweet. Uh, we'll be forever grateful. Oops. Good old Filmar hasn't been sniffing around here recently. Yeah, he was here a week and a half ago. He used the archives and took out some public records. Oh, That's all. what That's records? All. Oh, and uh, he asked me out for a coffee. <laughs> I hope you said no. <laughs> Why are you so interested, Marty? Yeah, I'm you've got a wife at home. Just I told him no, just like I told you no on all 25 occasions. <sighs> Glad to hear that. Oh boy. Okay, let's... Officer Barkman, one of Blood Boil's little protégés. So we can talk to him? Officer Barkman. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Shouting Spending. in three, two, one. Oh boy. Martin, what the hell do you think you're doing? We're just patrolling, sir. At the station? <laughs> yeah. No, we're here for something else, sir. You missed me, huh? No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I, I mean... Sir! Why are you grinning, Santino? I can't grin, sir. I have a beat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shoot, I can see it in your eyes. Should I close them, sir? Oh. Don't you peck at me, chicken, you hear? We're not even here anymore, Chief. We just quickly stopped by for something. 
Get out of my sight. Yes, sir. Let's just do that, okay? You're on duty. Am I right, Martin? Yes, sir. Then yes, why sir. Why are you standing here? Don't you have something yeah, to do? I do should sir. get moving here. Then fuck off. And you, okay. son. Don't even think about saying anything. I can already see you're dying to say something funny. I wouldn't think about it, sir. Okay. We have no business there. Okay. Yeah, last time I missed that. Oh, we're not doing the shooting range again because, yeah, you know. Okay. Good. Then off to the hop dog we go. No, to the Zach Club. Oh, okay. Then we go there. Nice. So what are we doing ah, here film again, Sonny? I don't know. Maybe we could question Natasha. No, we won't she find her. She's here. Who knows, Marty? We'll see. There's Filmar. Mm -hmm. Maybe he knows something. Yeah, maybe he's not drunk as a skunk. Stop projecting onto others, old chicken. Oh, uh, shut <laughs> the clock up, Marty. No, shut the clock I'm up. I'm sorry I hurt your precious feelings, boss bird. Hey, Filmar. Filmar looks a bit soaked. Doesn't he? Well, he's standing well, in the pouring rain. Raining. I yep. didn't mean the rain, Marty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Hey, old bird. What are you waiting for out here in the rain? Is that you, boys? Yep, he is so a little, uh, tired. Tired. I see that, pal. Oh. oh, it's all right. I just can't find my car. You Don't shouldn't be well, driving, Filmar. For an eagle? <laughs> no, a falcon. A hawk. Hawk. Yours. Yeah, it's funny. There ain't nothing funny about it, Snowflake. Oh, all right. Sorry. Have you seen uh, Natasha or Ibn since we left? Ibn? Uh, he got put off a long time ago. Natasha? I haven't seen her. Thanks anyway, pal. Uh, good luck with finding your car. You uh, want some help? Could it be that I didn't come here by car? What do you think, Sonny? You old friend? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know that, Phil, but uh, you take care, all right? Uh, you're telling me? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean, we are like half drunk already, and um, yeah, we we'll did drive too. So. Once again. Oh, God forbid. But he's like full on drunk, so. Don't get me wrong, boss, but I saw ah, how that song yeah. affected you. What Let's song? talk about that. Stop playing innocent, Sonny. Natasha's song, it made you free. Oh, boy. I've never seen you like that before. Someone just cranked up their motorbike out there. Oh, boy. Yeah, you're imagining things, Marty. I was just uh, paying attention because I like the song. It has a really good, uh, orchestration. Orchestration, huh? <laughs> Shut the clock up, Marty. Okay, okay. Keep your feathers on. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you forgot how to okay. breathe for about two minutes. Marty, if you don't stop, I'm gonna peel your feathers off and cook you as a delicacy. Yep. All right, all right. It's just too good. Too good. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Newspaper advertisement tower. Moonlight Boulevard. Ah, that movie. It's a real classic, I'm telling you. If you say so, Mr. Film Critic. Laugh all you want, but believe it or not, very few have seen more movies in the city than me. So, <laughs> you can believe me. I would never try to doubt your word. A crawl story. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm never going to forget this sign? Because you have a photographic memory? You do we? <laughs> no. If this car is still here and Wessler's already gone, that means it's not his car. It's like maybe first it's Phil Morris. <laughs> you didn't consider that he could have multiple cars? Huh. You could be right. <laughs> Sometimes I think you breathe in too much gun smoke, Marty. <laughs> I love the smell so much. Oh, I love the brand to ring. Oh, yeah. Just hey, boys, talking. tell me, 
Is Natasha still inside? I can't give you any information about that gentleman. I'm sorry. Mm. Ah, the regulations. I Is know. that we got make? used to it. I I'm glad know. to hear that. And I talked to him inside, Wrestler? I think. Can we find him in the VIP lounge? Mm. I'm afraid I can't tell you that either. But we can take a look for ourselves, right? No, no problem, gentlemen. Oh, thanks. We can go inside. Your friend's Ooh. not the talkative type, is he? He understands what we're saying, right? Don't anger me, chicken. Gabriel. I'll tear out your throat before you could say hemp seed. Huh. Just try, flea bag. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, folks, relax. The night's still young. We'll have plenty of time to tear each other's throats out, but right now we're busy. Yeah, let's go inside and look You're around. Right. Bye, guys. Good Bye. Can we? Oh. Last time we were in here, he had like only one woman at his side. Okay. So, well, here is. Oh, movie posters. All these movies are basically the same, right? Only on the surface, Sonny. There are some important recurring elements, but the emphasis is on the characters, their past, and their relationship. No, Marty. The story in the background is just the stage, the limelight's on the actors. You're really interested in these things, huh? Hell yeah. What I wouldn't give to investigate a movie star one day. <laughs> Even if they killed or devoured someone? Especially mm, yes. if they killed or devoured <laughs> someone. Marty is here for it. Okay, let's go from right to left. Oh, Olivia, hello. Uh, I don't know if that's if that makes sense. So we can we ask again. One. How unpleasant. She I'm doesn't sorry, like Olivia. us. We won't keep you long. Perhaps you could tell us if you've seen Natasha. She hired you, and you already lost sight of her. That's unfortunate. We should have met her, but she didn't show up. Should we be worried? Are you asking me that? I haven't seen her since she was on stage. Not like I was paying any mm. attention to her or anything. No, no, no. Thanks, sweetheart. We won't bother you anymore. Thanks, okay. Olivia. Don't miss I think she's a dead end. I, I don't think she has anything to do she with that. guy's taking a shine to Olivia now. Why should I care? And while we're at it... <laughs> why do you care? Me? <laughs> I, I don't care at all. Then why do you ask? Why are you stop bugging me? What? What is that? Oh, well. Firma is soaked to the bones. Uh, old body. It's so cliche. Oh, yes. And Olivia. Marty dated Olivia for a short period of time. What? That's it? I don't want to know more. Uh, I don't want to know more about this. Okay, I, I think uh, I just understood it like he tried to ask her out. Whatever you say, Sonny, what Natasha was doing on the stage, no man can ignore. Or woman, for that matter. I didn't say I ignored it, Marty. But you gotta learn to separate the client from the job. Ah, that's a cheap script, Sonny. You know the world doesn't work like that. And you definitely don't work like that. If you say so. This guy was here before, right? He's handling it pretty well. And there are even more pretty dames all over him. I said... Do you think they dig his antlers that much? Yeah. More like his wallet, Marty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Where is our little squirrel uh, waitress? <laughs> she was funny. Hello again, Bojack. No, what don't do say don't that. Me that sir? You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name again? If you really must know, I'm Lance, sir. Okay, Lance. Listen, it's very important. Oh, please, sir. Don't get me involved oh. in anything. I just want to get my shift over with and go home Say. to sleep. <laughs> Relax. There won't be a problem. Just answer the questions honestly. Oh, if I must, okay. give it Let's a try. Ask him and then right, I kid. think we're also done here. Lance. Yeah. Lance. Lance. Yeah. So, have you seen Natasha since her performance? No, no. Don't ask me anything about Miss Kitsenko and Mr. Wessler. 
It could cost me my job or even more. Hey, it's a matter of national security. Man is always ready to fight. Yeah, see, it could be. So if you help, you won't only be helping us, but the crown and the whole city of Clawville. Oh, okay, all right. Just stop that chicken shit, will ya? <laughs> I saw Natasha. Yeah, she came down, spoke with someone, then stormed out the front door. Okay. And then what happened? She came right back in, two or three minutes later, soaked to the bone. She was in a hurry. She went up to her suite, then came back down and left. And you haven't seen her since? I genuinely haven't seen her ever since, sir. Thanks, okay. Lance. You've been a great help. I'm happy to hear that. So Natasha had left. Yeah. Seems so. But she never arrived at the weekend house. Yeah. And then? Then we'll stay with the original plan. We'll gather our thoughts at the office and go over everything we know. Yep. Okay, boss birds, lead the way. Yeah, okay. I think we're done sniffing around and um, we will see each other again in Sunny's office, aka his apartment. <laughs> and uh, discuss the case with uh, Marty and how we go on about it. Yeah, but we will do that in the next episode. So until then, bye!